This is part two of my Mr. Series Monsoon Deep Dive, where I'm going to cover modes two through six, which are Pitch Shifter Time Stretcher, and Looping Delay, and Spectral Madness, and the Parasites editions of Oliverb and Resin Ester. All of these modes can be accessed by holding down the display button here. Hold it down for uh, two and a half seconds until it starts blinking amber, and then you tap through to get to all the different modes. So mode one, of course, was Granular Processor, where we started in part one. If you have the Monsoon Manual handy, uh, flip it open and follow along, because I'm going to be reading a lot of stuff out of that as well, and going through uh, the way the manual suggests to use this, these different modes. The Monsoon Manual refers to these five additional modes as hidden alternate modes that are highly experimental. But after playing with them for a number of days, uh, learning how to, how to work them, they don't really seem unstable or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure that everything is pretty solid now after a, after a number of years of this, of this software being in, in circulation. Uh, the manual also points out where sometimes, depending on the mode, these, uh, the functions like position, density, size, and texture will take on a different functionality. Like, for instance, in a number of the modes, texture becomes a low-pass and a high-pass filter instead. Uh, for my sound source, I'm just going to be using plates, and Pamela's new workout uh, is, is just going to be playing some Euclidean sequences. So that's where the sound source coming into Monsoon uh, from my mixer here. So this is, this is plates up here, out of the mixer, into the Monsoon, out of Monsoon, to my, my DAW. So getting right into it, what is pitch shifter and time stretcher? It's, it's kind of exactly what it implies. The pitch shifter can be used to alter incoming signals or pitches randomly using uh, the size slider and the volt per octave CB input here. And the time stretcher gives the effect of pitches that are coming in being warped by time and either like they either sound like they're slowing down or they sound like they're going faster depending on, on which, which direction you switch the tuning knob. So how the pitch shifter mode works is pretty much like every other mode on here is it, it dumps incoming audio from the input jacks into a audio buffer and then it samples from the audio buffer and plays back. And depending on what mode it is, the mode defines the method of how it is reassembling those bits of, of audio from the buffer. The module reads multiple grains from the audio buffer and overlaps them and synchronizes the most prominent signals uh, before splicing them back together uh, and to, to, to send out. Turning up the feedback knob demonstrates a slight pitch and time shifting capabilities as audio in the buffer slowly detunes or degrades. So it's a combination of feedback, of course, and size takes on a different mode here. It's kind of a size of overlapping windows versus size of grains, which I guess really kind of turns into the same thing because if you're reading grains and turning them into windows, <laughs> now you're, you're changing the size of those windows and overlap. Uh, so when you turn up feedback, of course, like any other mode, feedback then takes the process signal and feeds it back through and causes additional effects. That's where some of the magic really happens. So going into the mode, I'm going to press and hold the display button for 2.5 seconds until it turns amber blinking. And then I'm going to tap, tap, tap until I get to the second LED, and that is now pitch shifter time stretcher mode. So I'm, I'm just going to turn on the sequencer real quick and let it play sounds as I'm talking through what the different sliders do, because that way we'll get through this quicker. All right, so I have a relatively boring sequence going on here, mostly because I want you to be able to hear the differences as I start switching things around. So the first thing I have to do, of course, is apply some wet signal. So right now it's fully dry. So I'm going to turn this up to 50%. So now what you hear it doing is it's, it's taking the input signal, recording to the buffer, and then playing it back based on the time of the position slider. In normal mode, position slider acts as a time of delay, like how long it takes. So if we turn it down, you hear it go faster. And if we go up, it's a longer, before, longer delay is basically what's happening here. So 
So now the density slider in this mode makes a tighter sound, a tighter sample versus a, a rounder sample. So let's, let's listen to what that sounds like. If I turn this down to zero, you can hear the grains are pretty edgy. But if I slide it all the way up, they sound a little smoother edged. All right, so now that the size slider, if I move it down again, you can hear those windows are, are narrower. Oops, my hand's off the screen. You can hear the windows are narrow, or more narrow. And you can hear them almost wavering a little bit out of tune. So now, if you were to turn up the feedback, then take this tuning knob and twist it, positive or negative. So you can start hearing the net effect of what a pitch shifter and time stretcher sounds like. And that's just a little bit, so if you turn it up even more. So if you go fully wet with this signal, now you can just hear the after effect. back in the raw signal. So you're, what, you're, what you're hearing is the, is the effect that this gives now. It, it pretty much distorts the incoming signal, and if you have feedback going, it feeds it back through and just continually distorts and degrades the signal. And it can have some pretty interesting sound effects. So once again, I'll throw a couple of my LFOs in and show you what those sound like. Let me take one of these and I'm going to modulate, uh, well, feedback. I guess we'll do feedback. Uh, another one, let's do position and size. I've sped up the I sped up the LFO a little bit, gave it a little bit more LFO depth. So if you watch these uh, these LEDs, you can see how fast the LFOs are running. So this is just a pretty simple demonstration to show. Uh, that if you start applying modulation sources to these CV points again, just like in granular processor mode, you can get a lot of really cool sounds out of this uh, that can then be recorded to like a, like a, a looper here. Yeah, I have the looper up above. You could record things into there and play them back. It sounds really cool. I'm gonna take a sample and hold and put it into Volt Per Octave. I'm gonna make it mostly wet so I can, you can hear only the effect that's happening. 
So now what you have is a slow sample and hold that's basically adjusting the tuning, volume, tuning knob here. So in a way now you, you can see how, how weird that they can make these sounds. grab the last sample here and just put it in a, a gate real quick just to show freeze mode coming on and off. I'm just letting this run extensively here just so you can hear the randomness that's coming out of it and the different sounds that you can get. And this is just gr scratching the surface, of course, for this mode as well. The texture slider here uh, is, is now goes into a low pass, high pass mode. So if you turn it down, let me make it fully wet for a moment. So right now only low, low frequencies would be slipping through. So it acts again as a low pass, high pass, which can also be modulated here. Bringing it up above center is high pass. So if I moved one of my modulators over there, let's, uh, let's, let's modulate texture real quick. So a, a lot of things that I do with Monsoon, at least in just experimenting, is making sound, not so much music, but try to make to do sound design with it and get these ethereal creepy sounds out of it like I, sh I was showing in the, uh, in the granular processor mode. Some of the other modes are even better than this, so uh, we'll just move along. So that's it for the uh, Mr. Series Monsoon Pitch Shifter Mode. Uh, coming up next, we'll talk about the Looping Delay Mode. So stay tuned.